Welcome back to the Black Parade, Mission 1, Return to the City. Billy Fudrilat, even though I am relatively new to this position, you will learn that I am not one to be trifled with, and incidents such as the one that happened last night are utterly unacceptable. I ignore how my predecessor used to run things, but I can assure you that your men's laziness will not be tolerated any longer. I don't care if white bill mercenaries don't do their job. Preventing scum coming from this blasted layer of crime and debauchery from entering Ranswick is yours, especially when they are all riled up and looking for faces to smash. You should consider yourself lucky, for only a few shops and houses were vandalised by the rioters. But from now on, you have no margin of error. Consider this your first and final warning. Lift the in Esquire, Burgomaster of Ranswick. There we go, there's the loot. Alright, we're almost at the loot goal, actually. Oh, is this the open window I saw from way down? Yeah. From, I guess from... Down... Down there on that walkway? I don't think I've been to that balcony. I'm not sure this is a safe place to be. I mean, this could make a jump across, I suppose. Be careful, hello. And I look, oh, that was a valuable bottle of wine, a very valuable bottle of wine. Like 50 gold worth. Jumping onto that roof and getting down to that balcony would be possible. That is to the west. But that's one I think that we have access to anyway, right? That's the tenements. I suppose. I haven't been there yet. On the other hand, if I uh, jump back... These are nicely spaced, actually, and decently sized so that those jumps are not too perilous. Which I greatly appreciate. Okay, from here... We could make a leap to that roof and slither down to that balcony and maybe not take damage? Well, that's just this place. We should be able to get there from inside, right? I'm gonna try it just for the last. Nope, bounced. Wow, bounced a lot. How can I bounce like that? I didn't slide, I bounced. That's weird. Yeah, okay, that's how I slid. Alright, let's not try that. And. Oops. <sighs> Do I wanna try this other approach? I mean, I think I'm done with the gatehouse. Sure, sure, let's. Ah! Let's break my legs. That didn't work out the way I was supposed to go. I've got a guard out here somewhere, too. I've got a healing potion somewhere. There we go. Ah! Whoa. A weird. No. You know what? White pills are then of thuggery and villainy. Let's let's fit in, shall we? Hmm. I need more food. Maybe I should have robbed that guy at the start. He doesn't even have a key for me. Someone in here is gonna have some money, right? Let's. Let's not conceive they'll let me in. Hello? Anyone home? Yes, oh no, you... I see, you got a kid. Ah! No need to be so dramatic. All I wanted was a key. Okay, you look... He's covering his face. He might maybe he's one of those lepers. Hmm. Well, was that a map of the town? It's a map of somewhere. I can't read it. Gilip! Someone told me you're looking for some muscle to pummel some faces at the orphanage. Very bad idea, my friend. Very bad idea. The guy who owns this place, he's got his greasy fingers in every pie in Newmarket. Word is he even has some connections with the wardens. Think about it, man. Losing your purse to some damn pickpocket isn't that bad. Just forget about it. I'll pay you a drink at the tavern tomorrow if you want. Besides, Cruelist Studios came in early this morning to ask me if I saw any suspicious guys loitering about. 
Well, I told them, aside from the usual beggar regurgitating his nappy ale through his teeth right in front of my windows, and the smelly pet that I paid you to keep out of my street, nothing out of the ordinary. What a bunch of useless taffers. So our friend that we're going to see is... Influential. Hello. Carrots? No healing. Keep anything up on these... On these beams here? Oops, I could have climbed on that. Sort of. Cheese did not heal. Wow, can you imagine having to sleep with that draft whistling through the chimney the whole time? Rob, be helpful for once and buy us some meat. Nothing too expensive, we ain't rich. Something like chitterlings. Or better, wrestling. I just can't eat another spoon of Fromental. Better be careful though, I think Jeb ratted us to the watchdogs. Rupert ended up in the stocks yesterday. I've hidden a fizzle arrow in a gutter and dogleg if bad things happen. Fizzle arrow in a gutter in dogleg. Well, you're not being very helpful there with your directions, man. I can't make head or tail of where that would be. Come on, you can do that. No, you can't do that. Seen any convenient air vents? Not seen any boxes lately. What's with that sudden thing sound? Weird. sell this to some fellow who lost his sense of smell. Maybe not very good wine. Mr. Turbone, I have received your complaint. You accuse me of cutting my liquors with seawater, but I assure you it is in fact only pure and fresh water I take from the well every morning. Please gaze at the extent of my efforts. I only want the best for my clientele. However, such rumours could very well be the end of small shops like mine, and this is why I offer you this little gift in exchange for your silence. Please accept this moderate, modest present. It represents my most sincere apologies. A 12-year-old bottle of Crumbieu, directly from my personal cellar. Rest assured that this one here isn't cut with water. Plumley, chin cellar and occasional sommelier. Tired and just like uh, stretch. Uh. Whatever needs to climb. Is that a crate I can take? No, it's a crate I cannot take. That was a bread though. I popped up on these farmers. The flour costs twice its usual price now. Desperate times, desperate measures. You know how Fat Barrel is still in business, despite its wine being the most repugnant stuff you've ever tasted? That sneaky taffer asked the glassmaker's guild to deliver him bottles with a bounce bottom so he can keep a little more, a little for more. We should do something like that too. Instead of buying cheaper flour, me thinks we should add something to the dough so we can keep a little more for bread. Not gravel though. The last doer who did this got burned alive in his own oven by an angry mob. What do you think of adding roots and straw? We'll discuss it in the morning when I come back from my brother's place. I take these crates? No, I can't. I need a crate. You... Why 
do you make crates not grabbable? That's that's a crime. Oop. Let's not get back that way. Not yet. Oh, it's just there as well. Same place. Um. Right, back upstairs. Let's try this again. That's just not high enough. We're just not high enough, are we? Yeah, it feels like we should be high enough. <sighs> maybe it's a waste of time. Maybe there's just nothing up there. It's just like. <sighs> Conspicuous. You know, I guess we can mantle the door. That's that's cheeky. <sighs> cheeky bit of work. Okay, there's nothing up here. Fine. Don't know what I was worrying about. Not... All right, this there can be an air vent. That's what I wanted to explore. <sighs> Takes us above. We're heading westward. Oh, this is dogwood. So we should keep an eye out in the gutters then. Something stashed away. Some fizzle arrow or something, you said? White Bell is a noisy place at night, isn't it? Is that blood stain under the door? Well, these are all boarded up. I could break them down, I suppose, but. Uh... I don't think I don't think breaking the boards would get me anything. Alright, well I guess the valuables I found in there will have to suffice. It doesn't go anywhere more. Alright, I guess let's go downstairs and let's go visit Dogleg. Fizzle arrow in a gutter in Dog Lake. You know what, let's just leave it back here on his bed. Fizzle arrow. Let's a fizzle arrow and... Do I want one? Why am I hearing this humming there? Right, this is the bakery. Gretchen's Farm Fresh Vegetables. That sounds good. Well, maybe I shouldn't head there while this fella is looking our direction. should really do something about these awful street thieves. You mean the children? Of course I mean the children. They steal everything they see. But just this morning, one of them robbed me. And the lawmen did nothing. Bunch of tappers. They never do their job correctly. Let me 
these other thieves? The ones that try to knock you out without you ever having seen them. In case you've got anything valuable. I'll leave a handle. Great. I was looking for fresh fresh vegetables, but apparently we won't find them here. Oop. Right, so he's patrolling in Puget Street there. What's going on over there? Hmm. No, I stopped. Oh, I don't want to go that way. I don't think. Let's have a look out. Wait for our dog leggy friend. All the ambient noise is really loud in this mission. <clears throat> Nothing now. Only a ginsella and occasional smelly doesn't even lock his place up. I guess since we don't have lockpicks, we have to make a lot of places not locked. So this is Dark Leg. the street that we're in. Um, I suppose, yeah, there's an alley going north. Let's go to that. This, this view. Hammerites there who may not be happy to see me. <gasps> Hello? Give me your valuables by an open window. Oh, someone's got a nice rooftop garden here. And this is looking out <sighs> east. I could drop down all that pipe, but I don't know if it would do me any good. Oh, well, there's some place to reach up there. Where are we? North. Came up. Here, we're up here. I don't know. Trying to, trying to make, annotate this map. It's too small. I'm trying to annotate it with. Places that might be of interest is feels like a uh, waste of time. Hello, big X on that door. All right, we've been here. Again, something crying out for rip arrows, but we don't have them. I don't think there's anything to, any access to be had there. Now this, <sighs> on the other hand, could be reachable. Uh, so I wanted to say, this is a tenement, right? Dog leg, where was the way out here, right? <sighs> Let's look down over Dog Leg Alley. There's not much of it. So where's the gutter he was talking about with the fizzle arrow? I haven't seen anything that looks like a gutter. Coming in here didn't help, this was a dead end. Back 
down again. Retrace my steps. It's not like uh, machinery or anything up there, is there? Could he be referring to this? No way to hide anything here. That's me here. Aha. That's anything now. That's a fizzle arrow, that makes sense. Alright. It's a noise maker. Just fizzle bang crack. Level. Huh? Uh, where was I going? Okay. I was saying that up here was not anything but jumping across there would get us to this balcony I was wondering about before. Actually, no, I have been in there. I've been on that very balcony. There's, Lord, there's our friend Lord Buckethead, and I was on that balcony looking across at this rooftop and thinking about clambering across here before. So that's just the guardhouse. Some weird sound there. God, this place is so fucking noisy. There's just constant noise everywhere. And the ambient turned up quite high. That other balcony I was looking at. I don't know, I have no idea where. <sighs> this one up above me here. I'm not gonna get in there from up here, right? If it's reachable, it's gotta be from inside. So let's try this pipe, maybe. Oh, how am I gonna get down from here safely? Lamppost. This guy's gonna hear me land on the lamppost for sure. Or not. I mean, if I don't land on it, he's not going to hear me land on it. Maybe I can just get on the uh, signboard instead. This is really awkward. Yes, okay. Here. Okay, pocket street. It's not really where I need to be, right? I mean, I guess we've got a long way to go to get to the orphanage, and I should head west to the pawn shop. <coughs> but I guess I can check out this part of the street first. Well, I guess I have no choice because I'm not going any uh, back up this way. Ah! Like, feels like he just like got a scratch, not like he nearly bust a leg. Is 
Oh, I've been here. This is where I came in. Well, that's helpful. Ugh. God, that sound is so loud. Did, not, did nobody mix this properly? Okay. Um. Oh, did I lose my markings there? I mark this like that, right? I didn't think I'd not say it. Let's go, let's go this way. No, let's go west. Let's go to the pawn shop. There's a barber shop here. I mean, I guess I should be exploring this street. As far as there, maybe. I guess I can explore. And then come back. <sighs> Barber shop's closed. Huh? Gotta stop jumping. Nothing to be seen now. He was going to walk in. There's no way I'd get past him there. He turned around. He would walk straight into me. So having the guards out of the way is a good thing. Hello. Lots. House. Here. Worth noting down. Unless maybe I can get it up there. Oh, well. Now, I'm going to reach that pipe that's a little too high. I can see it what looks like an air vent there. Screaming, it's like mechanical screeching or something. I don't know. How am I going to reach that pipe? Maybe with the help of uh, a couple of boxes. You never know, they could, they could be useful. I've been playing too many Thief 2 missions, I'm not used to the forward motion on this jump. <laughs> Get in there. Hello? Never mind. Kip, I need your help. Remember the barrels full of jewellery we got from Percy's boys? I sent them to the wrong tapping location. They were supposed to go to Southwell, but I got confused and sent them to Sourwell instead. You know, in Southquarter. What's with this city and its districts with similar names? I swear this is a nightmare. I'm in big trouble because Nicholas obviously didn't get his due and now he's out to kill me. I have no idea where those barrels are right now. They could be on a boat on the river to Cyric for all I know. Let's meet somewhere he won't find us and discuss a plan if you will. The pub near St. Tenor's Plaza in Lower Dark Smoke sounds like a good idea to me. What says you? Bell. South Quarter. Sourwell. Is that a place here? Barrels of jewellery maybe? Maybe worth noting. I noticed this is arrows because I tried a capital B and uh, forgot that I don't know why I can't type a capital B on maps ever. Oh, is that key? Behind the desk, I guess. Counter, not desk. Hello. Now the health potion is valuable. I'm not sure about a skull, but. Uh, Leave that for them. White Bell Undertaker. Okay. 
Oh, did I mark it on... I marked it on this map because of, uh, I'm confusing myself. Like, where did my annotation go? Different, different map. Right, so that's one way. And this is the Undertaker. Alright. That's a big clanking sound I was hearing. I don't see anything that is moving and clanking like that, but uh, there's a similar sound in the factory. Alright, I'm gonna go, let's get back. Let's get back around to. I guess we have to go down through Dog Lake now. Alright, we can't get back up there, can we? Definitely not. Alright, what is that? Nothing. Don't worry, I'll find you. Hang it. <sighs> Up on there. <sighs> that worked, we distracted him. That was obviously what I meant to do, it wasn't like he saw me by accident. Clearly intentional. Did I knock out the guard who patrols here? I don't think so. Now oh, here he comes. Okay, Coulter's Lane, Pawn Shop, yes, nearly there. somebody talking. I don't know if it's a conversation I'm missing or what. So hungry. I could eat my own boots. Just like come out of the ground. Well, I don't have any food. What a child and wasted life, just sitting here. And come on, something's got to happen. I mean, <coughs> who's there? Hello. Hello. Nothing now. Oh shit, there's a guard. <clears throat> Easier to die than make a living here. <clears throat> I think that's what I was hearing him muttering to himself. So hungry. I could eat my own boots. What's the, this is the way to the pawn shop then? It's this gate. Sounds very dramatic, but appears to be nothing. Several proclamations made by Method Bell Worth Alderman of the Ward of Sweeper's End with the benediction of Sire Penathorn, Burgomaster of White Bell. Prevention of dysentery. The inhabitants of the district of White Bell are earnestly advised not to drink any water from the fountains or the wells which have not previously been boiled. Beware of the wild swills! Please be advised that the wild sweels infestation has spread as far as Aldrich Farthing. Rabies is primarily a disease of the sweel. New tax. Let it be known that on the 24th of Sarums, a new tax on cured meats, garum, and ship biscuits will be in order. Cured meat shall not cost 6s, garum 5 pence a flask, and ship biscuit 5 pence per bunch. Shillings and pence, really? Here all, here all, let it be known that the judgment... Uh, we've read this one. He's being hanged, drawn, and quartered, and I need to get back to the shadows. Or the same fate may await me. Yeah, 
There's a guard in the pawn shop alley. Okay. Oh, no, or not? Sort of heard a guard here. Maybe he's upstairs somewhere. Well, there is an upstairs. Where is this guy? I can hear him. His footsteps reverberating everywhere, but I can't see a sign of him. Come on, walk, in, walk down here. No? Where is he going? Oh, his footsteps are fading away. <laughs> That's some wild laughter for sure. I would have just let him walk past because he would probably not have seen me. This guy would have felt me walking into me. Because it's nothing like. making lots of nice, tight, narrow spaces and having the guards just notice you walking into you. Who's there? Hello? Nobody? Nobody? <laughs> hmm. I guess it was nothing. If this is the pawn shop, then I need to not let the pawnbroker see me, because of course that would, uh... Well, maybe he's not pawnbroker, maybe it's just some rich mm -hmm. guy's servant, but... Mm -hmm. Still, I need to keep pawn shops on my good side, because, you know, sometimes... He's not a servant. I'm not dressed like one, anyway. Sometimes I might need to flog some stuff. It can't get to a fence and it's not obviously stolen. The pawn shop is next best. More skulls. Hello? I love all this stuff. This is good. This is good stuff. Three tapestries. One eaten by moth and another painted with a strange liquid. Eleven. Tea warbler. Small armchair made of oak. Twenty-two. Arcodes. 12 vials, badly cleaned. 14, Pihanan. Map of Tatakum's tomb, never heard of it. 89, S. Perry. 6 cogs and 2 pipes, 23, J. Pinklemont. Donation of 50 coins to the illustrious New Market Pawnbrokers Guild. Sum 159-50. Note, Lord Alhazred is looking for a pair of earrings that got stolen from someone's very ears. I have no idea how anyone could do such a thing, but if true, then the guy must really be beyond amazing. Hopefully he didn't recognize my face in the darkness and he was just like, oh, there's somebody here. So if he recognized my face, then uh, that's a problem for me. Also, I have no idea where I could have hidden from him in there because there's just no room to move around. If he was walking up to that desk, then I can't even get hide on top of those. But yeah. Well, too bad. What's his key for, though? His door wasn't locked, right? It was the pawnbroker's key I got, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
Unless he has a locked store room nearby. So this door is definitely not a door. Or he has a secret room in here. Doesn't seem likely. Well, it doesn't seem to be the case, even if it might be likely. Old guy. Ah, huh, what good is a pawnbroker's key when he doesn't have a locked door? I mean, I guess I could lock the door, right? No, it doesn't even work on his front door. It's odd. Somebody, somebody's crazy laughing, or is it just a pet parrot? We may never know. Unless the pawnbroker has a. Aha! Here we go, it's a shop. Right. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you know, we might as well just leave the key here. I should probably be dropping more keys as I... Ew, that does not look healthy. As I go. I'd like to give this guy some food. To see if it is anything. I don't know where to find food except all the way back in... Um, thingamy place. You know. Can you climb without <sighs> making a <sighs> enormous racket? Oh, it's a ladder. What good is this ladder? And I guess that's what it's for. Can you access it to somebody's open window? Oh, there's another. Wait a minute. There's another. La what? <coughs> no. That's really weird. There's two ladders. Okay. Can I get safely onto this one? It's not placed in a good way. No. Yes, I can't just do it. Okay. Yeah, that's a really weird setup. I'm quite hazardous for climbing. What a child of wasted life sitting here. Oh, it's hemorrhoids. <sighs> Did it come up here? Yes, I looked in there before, right? Okay, there's a dog like alley. I'm gonna go back all the way to the start and I'm gonna rob that vegetable seller because I want some, uh, some food to give this guy. Ah, noise. So probably going through the workstation is the quickest. No, because I don't remember the way to the workstation. This is the tenements. Tenements will get us to the guardhouse. Guardhouse will get us to the other side. South and or east. This is a rickety old wooden staircase that everyone's afraid will collapse. I mean, I can understand not liking it. It's really tight and narrow and awkward to get around, but it's not. 
does not seem in danger of imminent collapse to me. Where was the uh, vegetable cellar? Um, just somewhere right, right here, right somewhere. Here we go. Let's have no evidence. At least no witnesses. <laughs> Cucumbers. We touch it, we bought it. Or rather, we touch it, we stole it. Garlic and herbs are no good. Nobody likes those. Alright, back, back to the gatehouse then. Nice hat. Alright. I guess I'll just retrace my steps. dog leg, etc, etc. What I see there... Seems peaceful enough now. Thought I saw something. All right, would you like a cabbage, man? No. You're too fussy. Give you a cabbage. You don't have to put your face in it. You're supposed to put it in your face, not the other way around. Do you, do you, do you want a cucumber instead? No? Alright, well, in which case... A pile of wasted vegetables. Alright, I guess I can't do anything for him. Uh, I should have looked around here for barrels, right? I don't know where Sourwell is. It's not marked. It's maybe not here anyway, right? Maybe this, none of this is Sourwell? I kind of want to go looking for the jewellery, but also... I kind of just want to press on with the mission, so let's just press on. Let's head north. Come on, something's gonna happen. I mean. <coughs> I 
Did you see something? No! Please! I don't want to die! What the fuck? Ouch! Ugh. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to edit that sound. That's just horrendous. Whenever he drinks a healing potion. Sounds like he's about to vomit. <laughs> I'm wasting time by doing this, but I am going to go back. Back to South Quarter, and we're going to run around the streets just a little bit looking for barrels. Where was the... The stairs, this way. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Besides, it's just fun to do that. Uh, okay, this is. I'm still going the right way. Let me check this for water crystals, probably. Where you got barrels knocking about? No. There's some barrels. <sighs> no jewelry in there. I don't suppose breaking the barrel is a possibility, right? You mean that night when we were all chasing after those taffin thieves? <laughs> I guess it's a banter system. <laughs> a little weird that they're talking to the guys retreating back and he stops facing it the other way. Right, this, this is not going to be good, right? This is going to be bad. I apologize, guys. It was in self defense, I swear. <laughs> Alright. I hadn't actually planned to test if you could kill a horse, it was just like. Because it ran right in front of my sword, I just thought, oh well, hey, I wonder what happens here. Well, there's a barrel. Is that a sour well? It doesn't. I mean, it might be sour. This is where I started, right? I feel like this is a waste of time, but it's not a huge area, and there's not lots of guards to dodge, particularly, so it didn't take too long to Let's look for any barrels that might be relevant. Like, here's a couple. <sighs> Are they relevant? How, how would I know? I heard us patrolling the sewers. Have you seen Alan tonight? I heard us patrolling the sewers. <coughs> I heard that. Stop right there. Come on now, come on. Nothing. Okay. I feel like this idea of. Dunno. Probably drunk at the tavern. Dunno. Probably drunk at the tavern. Bastard. Eh. I get the idea. I mean, it's better than whiskey and cigars. I get the idea of having the guards banter to each other. But, uh. Yeah, no, no barrels either. It's a little bit, um. A little bit shonky. 
Especially when the guy answers before the guy's asked the question and then he repeats his answer again. <sighs> I swear this place has such a prominent sign. And a balcony that you can clearly get to. Well, that's just a guardhouse, right? Alright, he didn't like that. Fair enough. I heard us patrolling the sewers. Have you seen Alan tonight? I heard us patrolling the sewers. I guess either there are some barrels well hidden away with jewelry in them that I don't know and I don't know where they are. Which is seems possible. Quite probable that they you know, might be barrels where I don't know where they are. Or the note doesn't really mean anything, which is also possible. Anyway, that's enough. Enough bapping about. Looking for barrels. We'll uh, head back to Dogleg once more. Stopped. Very There's nothing. Oh, he's going there sometimes. Not not straight down the alley. Place is very well signposted, which seems odd. <coughs> oh, he's not going down the alley? He's being unhelpful. There he is, okay. So you carry on your way. There's hammerite. There's hammerites to watch out for as well. They're probably not. Hammers and white bell? Just my luck. They're probably not gonna like seeing somebody like me around too much. That was kind of unnecessary. So, you know, if I do want to stay hidden from these hammers. Oh, having something there that I can't jump up onto. Is... May the builder smile upon thee, brother. And may thy spirit be ever sharp. <sighs> <laughs> I heard that. Stop right there. What did you hear? <sighs> is that making weird and loud footsteps? Where are thou, villain? Is that metal? Well, that's annoying. Thy hiding place cannot last. Seems peaceful enough now. There's nothing going on, guys. Is that actually something hiding up there? Thou shalt not hide, Ralph. Oops. <sighs> What's there? <sighs> 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 There's a gas arrow hidden away. Now I can't get down here without making noise. I guess I can. Lucky. Yeah, that is a metal. Great. Not so cool. All right, that's a much better. There's a much better place to hide. Um. Hmm. Maybe we can get around these fellows if we come in here. And ascend this ladder. Ugh. 
Again, <sighs> ladders are not made to be used. They're not made to be climbed properly either. You have to mantle off some, which is okay, but then getting back down them is a big risk. Is that not a door? That's not a door. That is a pipe. Does it go anywhere? <sighs> we have an intruder! Oh. Hurry! Fall to me! To my <sighs> 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 Was he? Casting skulls at me. <sighs> and we're outside the building. Nothing then, I suppose. I can climb up here, but there's absolutely no point in doing so. And getting those people riled up for nothing. Well, I don't really care much about that. So, what is the point of this pipe here? Just because you can? There's a chain across the way there, but I can't reach that. Well, I suppose if I came from there... Oh, there's a, got a fucking arch up there. Who saw me? If I was coming from there, I could... ...get down here. Guys, just chill, right? Chill. <sighs> 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 Thanks for jumping. Just before I riled them up, okay. Oh, that is a hammer right up there, the archer. Let's hope he doesn't look this way. No, get up on it. Oh my god. Come on, metal damn thing. Safer for everyone, I wonder what's up there. Something safer for me. Less hassle, less risk of noise. And besides, Hammerite archers are blasphemous. An arrow is no weapon of a builder. Another crate of hammers. And another random water crystal on a chair. I just... It's really weird. That's like so far to me. That's number one weird thing about these these guys. Like just people, just water crystals on chairs. It's like what? What is your head cannon about water crystals? Because that's just just weird. It's a cool tower. Uh, the moon is silhouetted against the clouds in a way that it, it's on this side of the clouds that's not that's no moon it must be a something else maybe a space station all right let's just get down from here 
And then we'll save. There's nobody there, you're seeing nothing. All is well now. Twas but the wind I the hear soldiers. thee. Show thyself in the open at once. You hear nothing. Thou shalt not hide from me. Yeah, look through here. When everyone it was just the wind then. Yes, I took the hearing potion from there. Alright, can I get on this ladder safely? Just. And there it goes, doesn't go low enough to walk off the bottom. Ladder score. I mean, it works, it's functional, but. Uh, that's not how you should build ladders. Alright, well I'm gonna get no off and all these hammers have been running away and it has been another hour. So I'll end the episode here. Thanks very much for watching. And uh hopefully in hour three of this mission we'll finally get around. Nine eyelids are heavy in truth, but I shall. Shall what? Um In hour three of this mission, maybe we'll finally get to see our friend Dahlquist. I'll see you then.